Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in today's video I want to share with you an interesting game played at the ongoing 2023 Women's European Teams Championship. On the white side is Greek woman grandmaster Stavrula Tsolakidu and her opponent is Ukrainian woman grandmaster Natalia Buxa. Tsolakidu opened up with e4 to which Buxa answered with c5. The good old Sicilian defense is on the board, the classical variation and then the razor sharp Sveshnikov variation appears on the board. Here as you know the main classical move is bishop g5 but in the game we have knight d5 pop, uh, second most popular choice and this line starting with knight d5 is becoming very popular mainly thanks to uh, Carlsen Kiruana match. Knight e7 and knight b8 are the continuations here in the game we have knight e7 and we are now following uh, at least two games played between uh, Magnus Carlsen, sorry Kiruana was on the white side, Fabiano Kiruana and Magnus Carlsen. Queen before bishop f5 here white repeated the moves and only then we proceed with Kiruana Carlsen game. Yes guys this is modern chess which requires a huge theoretical knowledge and past 20 moves the players are following theory are following their home preparation. Queen a4 had been seen in Kiruana Carlsen game in the game with bishop e2 and this is a move which Magnus Carlsen made against Sergei Karyakin in 2019. Knight c3, queen c7, g3, bishop e7 yeah and still we are following that game guys. White castled kingside and black also castled kingside allowing white to win this pawn. Knight goes to e5 but now black knight is occupying a very nice square and that's uh, something which gives black compensation. By the way, in here, in that game mentioned earlier, Carlsen, Korea King game, Carlsen chose bishop e2 continuation and only on move 22 we are deviating from that game. Knight d3, queen b3. And a very aggressive move by Buxa. Bishop takes h4. Looks nice, looks promising, but let's see, where is black's compensation? A piece sacrifice is on the board, which is exposing white's king side. Queen takes h4, knight g3, white hurried to switch the knight into the defense. And knight f4, which is a losing move. Better is moving back this bishop to h7 or queen h3. Knight f4 and this is the losing move guys, let's see why. Knight takes f5, queen takes h5 and the winning move by white. I guess this was the move which black overlooked in her calculations and that move is queen g3 guys. White is now threatening mate in one but at the moment is allowing knight e2 fork. I guess when black saw this knight e2 fork coming stopped calculating so that queen g3 is not possible but queen g3 is the move which is winning the only winning move in this position by the way okay the fork is on the board a royal fork the queen drops but there comes knight e7 check king h7 f takes g3 and now white will win back the queen yeah some sort of an anastasia's mate is coming guys there is no escape if you move away your queen. King h6, rook h1, takes six, king g5. Black king is in a terrible position, guys. There is no escape. Rook e8, rook f1. Now black king is in a mating net. If you win this rook, sorry, knight, then just uh, bishop f6 check, winning the rook and the game as well, white is a piece up. Black made a desperate e3 move and resigned after bishop f6 check. The reason is that now if king g4 then rook f4 check, king h5, rook h4 check made, yeah there is no escape. Once again this was a very nice combination by Stavrula Tsolakido. Queen g3 is a marvelous move, allowing that fork and then crushing black king in the most brutal style very very nice and i hope that you enjoyed the game
Of course, most of the game white played relying on home preparation, but yeah, the final combination was uh, creative and I liked it a lot. Events, another very creative chess problem for you today. It's white to move and mate in two. We'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in my next video. Take care.